three reasons why you should always do things big. The first, if you saw one of my previous videos, you can see I went all out on my Christmas lights display. And the reason I do that is because I have kids. When I was young, my parents did Christmas lights and we didn't have the biggest and best, but we did have this one particular tree in our front yard and we must have had an unsafe amount of lights on, <laughs> on that tree. I vividly remember going to my dad to the store and getting more and more and more lights. It was like this massive glowing lollipop and you could see it from all the way down the block. And people would comment, oh man, that looks so cool, that looks so cool. But at a young age, I got motivated by, by my parents and so I do that now for my kids so when they get older, hopefully they keep the tradition alive. At least that seed has been planted that they can think and do something a little bit bigger. Number two, you can literally motivate the people around you that you don't even talk to just by setting a good example, a big example, perfect example. Here's one neighbor, there's another neighbor, there's another neighbor, then there's another neighbor. I literally was at this neighbor's house and they normally all they do is is these little bushes and some lights and they did this tree they did that tree that mailbox and that tree over there three three big trees in the mailbox they added more lights or four trees i was talking to them the other day and they were like they're like well you were big this year man you did something a little bit bigger so we decided to do more stuff i just kind of was doing my own thing and it motivated them to do some bigger and better stuff and the kids like it and it's all fun and it kind of helps the whole cul-de-sac. And they even said, I got one more neighbor. Actually, this guy just moved in. One more neighbor, got to get him up and then we'll have the whole block go, which is pretty cool. So you, you don't know who you're going to motivate. That's another reason number two. And number three, and I'd say the biggest thing is you got to do big things all the time. And so what happens when you do one big thing, you're going to have the confidence to realize, hey, I can do some more big stuff. And that will transcend into every aspect of your life, your relationships, your friendships, your work, your anything that's going on in life because you've done something big and you understand what that did for you, maybe, maybe subconsciously, consciously, whatever it is, but it can develop your own personal confidence to do things bigger in every aspect of your life. Always, always do things big. Follow for more.